Um, and then um, I wanted to ask, like, what have you learned in the short amount of time of being in this music industry? I know, like, mm. you've only been rapping for six years, yeah. um, but I feel like and you obviously just moved here, yeah. right? So congratulations on Thank that. You for that. Like, yeah, the last couple of months, I've been seeing your face everywhere, Thank you. right? So, like, what have you learned in that short amount of time? Is it, like, a big surprise or did you know this was coming? Um two questions sorry bro no you yeah. <laughs> right um nah i would say i guess i knew on some level i didn't know what it would look like but i knew something was going to change at some point like my dad was always a big believer in like you keep rapping someone will see you. and that was just it that was the consistent sentiment that he gave me from 12 to 16 until or no 14 when i met the mm -hmm. like it was you keep rapping someone's gonna see you and it's like okay and he was like, one day your life gonna change. And it's gonna feel like it's just changed out of nowhere in a day. But you gotta be ready for that. So it was like. He prepped you. He prepped me. Yeah. It was always like, I'm wondering when this day gonna be. I always thought it was gonna be soon. And it's like, nah, it's just, I found that right now, it's it's like steps. Mm -hmm. It's really just a, a, a constant growth thing to where it's like, yeah, it's changing, but it's not super quick. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is happening and this is happening. It's like uh, the saying that the wrestler told me, John Talagin, it's like, you're building a staircase. So you're not just going to build one step and then sit down like, damn, I built a step. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You just keep building. Yeah. And it's like, that's what my life has been. Just a series of steps that I've been taking to continue to propel myself forward and the people around me for it as well. You, you don't think like a 17 year old. When do you turn 18? Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm 18 now. Hey, he's 18. Yeah. Correction, yeah. correction. He's 18. Yeah. When did you turn 18? Oh, man. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm telling. laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Um, I turned 18 June 7th, so about oh, a month yes. ago. All right, recent, recent. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, cool, cool. Um, so, you don't think like, you think very mature for your age. That's good to have people around you, like your father, yeah. that kind of mold you into that. Um, I, for me, it's crazy because like, as I get older, I look at life more and more like a calendar. Hmm. For me how I, it, it's, it's very correlate, correlated to the steps analogy, right? Yeah. Like for me, my to-do list is check everything off my calendar, mm. right? I add it to the calendar. This interview's in the calendar, as you know. Um, and then my next thing, right when I get home, I have a, six more things in the calendar. Mm. For me to have a successful day, mm. those things need to be completed, Fact. right? Yeah. I can sit down at the end of the day and be like, damn, I did do all these things. Yeah. I did build that step, but tomorrow I got another 12 things on yeah. this calendar. So for me, life has been a calendar to where at the end of some time, whether it's a year from now, a year and a half, yeah. whenever I make it big and whatever I make it big in, yeah. I can sit and be like, all those steps and calendars and appointments I took put me here. Yeah, it's you know documented. I mean? Yes, exactly. Documented. So yeah. um, I think that's very, I think those are very similar and I can relate. In some, yeah, no, some aspect. Fact. that shit is, is it's life. That shit is life. For real, for real. You can't get around taking those steps. <laughs> for sure, for sure.